champion. I'm the tag team champion. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. You just think you are. You just think you are. You just think you are. And one of these tag teams, I don't buy myself. I don't need a partner. No, you didn't. You cheated. I don't need a partner. I'm trying. Okay, my decision has yet to be made. Oh, wait. Don't start talking. The person I pick has to, no choice, but to follow the rules and be my partner. Yeah, and I'm going to introduce you to my pick right now. So, you've oh come to the top well, we are live here at the place where Slamcast, the Tri State Fair Fallout, and well. J.D. Smitty has named his tag team partner in Pierce Price. Has no choice. He has to honor the contract, and he will become 
one half of the tag team champions. That's it. That's it. However, should Chris Price decide to come in there and demolish your ass throughout two or three of these falls, then he's out of that, and you're going to have to find a new tag team partner, and he won't have to sign any contract. Yeah. Oh, and um, this is going to be a surprise for you. That first match is going on right now. So I need you to uh, Oh, hey, look, we got Parker. All right. All right, so this is the opening contest. The first of three between Pierce Price and J.D. Smitty. If you think J.D. Smitty's got it, go ahead and make some noise. If you think Pierce is going to win this one, make some noise. Well, that answers that question. Ooh, the little kid told him. Here we go. Opening contest time. Here at the Plex, a new Plex, if you can't tell. We've moved the ring a little bit. Opened up with a little bit of uh, room here, a little bit of spacing. And here we go. We're opening things up. Pierce Price and J.D. Smitty, the first of three here tonight between these two. J.D. Smitty already rolling out of the ring in this contest. I'm going in alone here tonight, folks. Both Shane Garrett and the Sarge are not feeling well tonight. So they are both out of commission here tonight, which is fine. We will wish them best of luck. And of course, this is being recorded for the slant cast. Smitty back into the ring now. This is my night. This crowd, absolutely vicious here tonight. And Smitty rolls back out again. Pierce on the offensive. And now going straight for, for the headlock there. Trying to work. Arm ringer. Here's his own headlock. JD Smitty. JD Smitty trying to 
invoke a jump, a more violent side of Pierce Price. The more dirty side. Oh! Jesus, Pierce! You wanted some violence. There's a headbutt for you. Courtesy of Pierce Price. Off the ropes. That flying low boy Urinagi. On our uppercut. I'm sorry, it's a little hot here in the place. Couple of stomps to the midsection there. JD Schmidt able to come back. And now going back on the offensive. Raining down fist from above. Oh, big, big stiff boot to the top of the dome. Another big shot there. Smitty off the ropes. And eats the ropes in succession. And you can see him squirming here. Here's Bryce. Through the middle. Oh! It's the turnbuckle post. And Pierce Price to the outside. Smitty, ever since being a referee a couple of years ago, now just relaxing on that middle, on that corner there. Back in the ring we go. JD Smitty trying to stomp a mud hole. And now choking him out. Elbow drop. Blue collar brawler. Gets him in the middle of the ring. Here's the cover one. Only a one count. We just said that's a one. Here's the roll up! Only a two count there for Pierce Price. Hits the knees. Stiff shot by JD Smitty. Returned by Pierce Price. Uh-oh. Look, we're, looks like we're going for a good old fashioned fisticuffs. Trade of blows here. And Pierce Price. Oh! Not sure what that was. That was a fast one. Here's your winner, Pierce Price! Was ready 
for Jay Hazard. Even though it, it's been. Thumb war in the WrestleFlex. What am I a witness to here? About five, six, seven, eight. Oh! And here comes Chewie with that old school heel, heel onslaught. Again, with a strong style eye rate from Chewie Martinez. Oh, 
Jerry, of course, an old school veteran of the ring over a decade in the ring. Former JCW Tag Team Champion, former Top of Texas Heavyweight Champion. We've got a round two. No, we already have that going on tonight. Sultan has been associated with Jack Logan. The Jack Logan clause is in effect. It's a 20 yeah, count. So officially, this match is still on. Martinez now uh, gets back on top, seeing as he's using the Jack Logan clause. Okay, that is definitely not a 20 count rule. Jay Hazard trying to pick up the big man. Chewie breaking the fourth wall. I thought Alton and I was allowed to do that. You know, VTuber rules and all that. Come on, 
working on the chin, chin lock there. What's up behind you, Jack? Trying to wrench the neck. Back up to his feet. Jay has it, brings him back down though. A couple of big forearms to the back. And then the axe handle. I think he said, hey, Sultan, help me. Well, he's going to take advantage of this 20 count. The Jack Logan claws in effect. Back, he's mean. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Parker's here. Hi, Parker. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's cool, Cat and Mouth. Oh, up and over. Two Martinez is eliminated from the Royal. Oh, wait, one two. Jay Hazard stalking his prey. Handle on the outside. Back into the ring we go. Oh, stiff shot to the midsection, dragging him in. DT, middle of the ring. Nicely executed by Julian Martinez. This one's over. Two. Only a two count. So referee Nick. Going for the kill over again. Again, only a two count for Chewy Martinez. Going for those old school chops. I believe he was challenging his Mortal Kombat. We're supposed to see Sean Lau here later tonight. I haven't seen Sean Lau. Have you seen Sean Lau? I haven't seen him at all. You're a sweat up You were sweating. Uh-oh. The straps are coming down! Trade of form blows! Quick shot. Which one of these men will fall first? Jay Hazard, get the best of them. Irish whip off the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Double clothesline. Get out. Get out. Oh, shut up, old man. You shut up. Get out. Both of these men are down. These men have until the count of ten. This, this one again, not a part of the Jack Logan clause. Ladies and gentlemen, neither man could reach their feet before the referee's ten count. This match. Is a double count out draw. Neither man the victor here tonight. Meaning we will have to see these two again at some point down the line. And I, I think if it hadn't been 
for the Jack Rogan Claws. Jay Hazard would have walked out of here. Did Chewie just toss the Sultan? What what is this about? Did Chewie just say Sultan do my dirty work? Hey, those are some pretty cool shades. Uh oh. And Chewie's over here laughing. Jay Hazard lays out the Sultan here. But what does this mean for Chewy Martinez in the DOA? Here we go with match number two in this best of three here tonight. Again, one to nothing Pierce. Come on, Pierce. These guys have had a match to kind of soak in. Had a Jack Logan clause to absorb. You know he's got a chance. And now J.D. Smitty going on the offensive here. Come on, Pierce. Smitty off the ropes. Leg drop to the back. Going for the cover now. One, two. Only a two count. Going for the knuckles, stretching out the arm, stretching out the entire arm, trying to rip those tendons out. Pierce with the roll up! Only a two count though for Pierce Price. J.D. Smitty now trying to make him humble, trying to go for that modified camel clutch. Can't really get any of it though because of the size of Pierce Price. But he does have that knee right down deep into the back of Pierce Price. J.D. Smitty just one title away from being a two-time Grand Slam champion here in Top of Texas. Pierce Price on the other on the other side just needs a panhandle title to make himself a triple crown champion. Oh! Step up in Zaguri. Might have been all it's worth. Here it is. He broke the broke a plane of the rope there. J.D. Smitty able to get out of it, and he rolls to the outside. No Jack Logan Claws in this one. Pierce was trying to bring him back in. J.D. drapes him over the top of that, that top rope. And now, knee to the mid of the back. Pierce has been known to have issues with that back. And J.D., out of everybody here, would know just that. J.D., Smitty, and Pierce Price, two of the last remaining here in the WrestleFlex that started in the warehouse. The old famous warehouse down on Lincoln. These two men were staples there. Whether it was WWA, whether it was, whether it was the original AEW, these two men made it their namesakes there. And now Pierce 
Looking for the suplex, maybe. Oh, rope thrust by J.D. Smitty. Smitty's gotten down. And that workman's boot right to the face. Again, that is not a regular. The two count there for J.D. Smitty. Those are not regulation wrestling boots. Those are workers' boots there. Use the use the ball when he does his contract and work on the side of the wrestle flex. And now he's going for the throat of Pierce Price. Now going for almost like an anaconda vice. On Pierce Price. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Using the ropes as leverage! Parker, however, was able to catch on to that one. Come on, Pierce. Smitty out. Continuing his work on Pierce Price. Again, should JD Smitty win here, he's going to have one more match with Pierce Price. But Pierce wants out of those contracts. Pierce is up to his feet. The originator of West Texas Strong Style with the counter. And now Pierce, deep in meditation, just thinking of what kind of violence he's going to bring upon J.D. Smitty. Come on, Pierce. You can see it in his eye. He's lining him up. Pierce Price. JD Smitty out of the way. And Pierce may have Pierce may have pulled something in his shoulder. Smitty! Shades of out sound! Two! Three! Here is your winner, Jay D. Smitty. And we'll see this match one more time tonight, folks. What a hell of a series this is going to be. What is this talk about Sean Lau running away from a fight? You shut up. Okay, so you guys are so quick to say Sean is running away from a fight, but Zane is nowhere to be found. So what do you have to say about that, huh? You're hiding here. But I tell you what, I'm going to get in the mood. So let's go ahead and issue an open challenge. Hey, hear me out.
John Wall asked. John Wall asked for this open challenge, and of course, because the Sultan is a part of this, that Jack Logan clause is a part of this. John Lau now. Nick has to remember, they do have a 20 count due to that Jack Logan clause. I think Sean Lau will hit under the ring. The Asian assassin. Back in the ring. Baseball slide. Uh-oh. And a stiff shot. Salmatar Moore, the human kaiju. Going to town on the Asian Assassin. Champion versus champion in this impromptu open challenge match. Tosses him almost all the way across the ring. And I think Sean Lau, he ain't feeling very spicy right now. Uh-oh. Oh! That big barefoot, that stinky foot, foot technique. Leg drop! Only a two count, of course. This isn't the 80s, so leg drop ain't gonna cut it here tonight. Trying to bring the big man off of his feet. So much to move. Now. Crashing down with authority onto the Asian assassin. Again, Sean Lau has nobody but himself to blame. He literally asked for an open challenge. He said he wanted to fight anybody in the back who wanted to fight. And who better to fight than the human kaiju, the Polynesian powerhouse, than Sama Tamu. Of course, Sean Lau, the current junior heavyweight champion. He's a former panhandle champion, traded that belt with J.D. Smitty with the weight limit was passed onto the junior heavyweight championship. Referee up to a five count. But again, remember, the Jack Logan clause is in effect for Sultan. Sean Lau may have just ate the turnbuckle there. As he comes and he tries to blame me for it. And it's not like it's my fault that he's got a Jack Logan clause. I'm sure the board of directors will be looking into that. that top rope to his advantage, but may have eaten some of the chain link on the outside, holding back the barricade. Couple of stiff shoulders, but it does nothing to move the human kaiju. Oh! And he barely flinched from that chop. I think Sean Lau is done. I think he needs to pray to whatever deity he's into. That double overhead chop! I think that 
That's Donald Tomu's version of a receipt there. There's only a few men I would hate to get a chop from. Sean Lau is one of them. Sama Tamu is definitely on the top of that list, though. Drop kick to the legs. Trying to bring the giant man down. He's finally down to his knees. This is the first time that Sean Lau has gotten him down to his knees. He's got him in the choke. Going for him. Did he do? <laughs> Referee! Ref, come here! Come here! Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called this match via disqualification. Your winner, Sama Tamu! Didn't keep him down long enough though. The, the Yumi Kaiju, the Panhandle Champion, gonna be looking for a fight here real soon. And the DOA may be on the list. At the very top of that list. Well, we start things off with a belt shot. But again, it was before the bell. That's another belt shot. Pierce looking to put him away! And he's... Parker is showing them where the line is. It's right there, that tag team title. Should Pierce win here tonight? He does not have to team up with J.D. Smitty. However, if J.D. wins, Pierce Price will become one half of the tag team champions, whether he likes it or not. J.D. Smitty has been calling him Ken Folk as a late. Four low on the belt, but he doesn't use the belt. Here is your winner, J.D. Smitty. Your top of Texas tag team champions, the team of Pierce Bryce and Jay D. Smith. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Technically, JD gets away with it because he didn't use the belt. In that four low, but at the same time, he just laid out Pierce Price, who is now contractually obligated, obligated, excuse me, to be that top of Texas tag team champion. This match is presented by our friends at Socks. Don Live, one man live and his many projects, Sauce.Live. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Coach Sexy Sean Sanders. From Atlanta, Texas, weighing in tonight at 185 pounds, he is a pioneer of West Texas wrestling. 
Tri-State Fair fell out. Dorian Robinson versus beautiful Bryce Payne. Two men who had very, very prestigious careers here in West Texas. And of course, Dorian Robinson, a student of the Sanctuary of Pro Wrestling. Already going for that cover. Maybe trying to show off here. Just a little bit, a little early here. But again, oh! Jawbreaker calling him Ed and Nettie from beautiful Bright Spain. But again, Dwayne Robinson, a student of the Sanctuary of Pro Wrestling. Bryce Payne, a pioneer of West Texas wrestling. Has been doing this for quite some time. We're talking ACW, WWA, PWF, Top of Texas, just to name a few. Learn in the Taz Academy as well. Right there. And of course, Sean Sanders on the outside. Sean Sanders with that big right hook. And he's got that whistle on guard. These fans letting him hear it here tonight in our main event. Bryce Payne has, as of late, been, go been going to town again. It's, it's been amazing to see Bryce Payne in action. No matter what he does, sidewalk slam! Two! Call for the two count. Bryce Payne holding on to that arm, may have pulled a tricep. May have pulled something in that, in that elbow there. You, you, you see it bandaged up, a little padding, extra padding on that. On that left elbow. Sean Sanders trying to, to nurse him back to health. You'll, wa you'll wonder though if the West Texas heart throbs. Bryce may be actually hurting her. Folks. And Bryce Payne, of course, is going to get that Jack Logan uh, clause. Again, I think. I think the, the story of the night has been the Jack Logan clause for these out of ring counts. And John Sanders in the ring with referee Nick trying to break up the count. Dorian falling around. Oh! John deciding to back away. Bryce again. It may, it may be, or he may be playing a possum. Classic Sean. Uh, Bryce Payne there. Come back over here. Back over there. Now he's looking him up. Gonna go for the rolling senton. Rolling senton. Knocking the air out. 
Jimmy Robinson. Only a two count, however. And I think Bryce is out of it. Or it might be another two here for Sean Sanders to do some action, do some dirty work. You get his ass out of here. He's interfering. This is not good for Dorian Robinson. Basically in a handicap match here tonight. Stiff elbow. Trading on the forearms here by these two. Got him. Thunder bomb! Two count, however. That blue thunder bomb. Not enough to put away beautiful Bryce Payne. Sean Sanders saying, well, I mean, everybody else has been kind of negative on those new steps. Dorian now, he is just hunting his prey. That technical prowess, and there the drop toe hold. Super kick. That sexy super kick by sexy Sean Sanders. Bryce Payne now on top. Fisherman suplex. He's got the leg. Here's your winner. Bryce Payne got out of here just in time. He maybe he gets the victory here tonight. But in the long run, I think it'll be that sexy super kick that claims everything. For the Slamcast, folks, thank you so much. We'll see you next month here on the Slamcast.